everyone. I have this great Christmas decoration. You know that time's coming around the corner and so all of us are trying to look for ways to save money and to also make ends meet. And so I have this great, cheap, inexpensive little, as you can see, it's a very, very nice looking ornament. You can tell by my hands that I've kind of been working on it. Um, I really, my big motto, if any of you know me out there, my big motto is, is that you use what you have whether it's in your garage, you use old paint, spray paint, whatever you can find is really, really important. So I'm gonna show you how to do. So as you can see, here are these ornaments that I was showing you earlier that were on the tree. We have a nice crimson red color. And we also have this, this shimmery metallic -y gold color that I use spray paints actually. These are great Christmas colors that you can use. But I do want to emphasize using whatever you have in your garage. You know, everyone's got a little bit of some spray paint and then you can either go to the dollar store or you can go to Walmart, wherever you can get really cheap spray paint. Or even if you have paint in your garage, one of those that color that you just didn't think you could ever use. You could also go to um, get mix and matches of paints at, um, at any kind of like Sherwin-Williams or any kind of paint store or even Walmart. Just look in that section for real, real cheap. I mean, you could do a whole set of these, a whole bunch of these for very, very cheap if you found the right color. And so spray paints work the best for me and I just had some leftover ones um, in my um, pantry. So the color that I have for the red here is, and I always like using the, the Krylon. Um, it just seems like it goes on really well and it has a nice um, shimmery texture to it. And this one, I don't even know what color this is, but if you can kind of see, um, it is kind of like a crimson red. And then this is also Krylon, it's metallic. Um, it's a brilliant gold, you know, I must, I think I got this for like two bucks a can or something like that, or two or three bucks a can, whatever it was, it was pretty cheap, fairly cheap. Then the other thing that I used to make part of this project was newspaper. And so you can of course find newspaper anywhere. Um, it's very, um, it's something that's not hard to come by. And so I will go ahead and begin to show you how to do this project. Okay, so here I have my newspapers that I just kind of, I doubled them up. You can do three, whatever you want. Um, you just basically have, you don't want to really do it with one piece. It just gives more coverage when it makes it look a little thicker when you have two. But either way, I think I actually have three here. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your newspaper and just kind of scrunch down the middle, almost like you already have this big bow like that. That's pretty much the first step to doing it. Now that you have your bow, a nice thing that's going to make it a little st more sturdy or sturdier is kind of just twist the middle like that. That for some reason seems to make my um, the whole bow a little sturdier. You just want to make sure that you have it even on both sides. And then you can even do it a, a third twist if you want, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Now you have your ends and you're going to actually start to bring the ends, kind of scrunch them like that and bring them toward the center. As long, the better the, the grasp that you had and the tighter the, the um, twist that you have on there, the easier it's going to be to handle and also twine it together and make sure that the bow doesn't start falling apart when you actually um, get it looking the way that you want. And so you can see that I did that part. And then what I'll do with the next one is I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the other one. I'm just going to start scrunching it towards the middle. And now the really, really important part about this is that you, you have it all pinched together there, but you don't want your bow to start falling apart. That's really, really important. And so I try to get it as close together as I can. And this looks kind of messy right now, but we can, we'll adjust it and fix everything in just a bit here. What I like to use, and you can really use anything that you want, just as long as it's long enough, but this is just seems to work for this project really well, is of course your trash bag ties. So I, and you may have to use a couple of them, and this is the part where you just have to have really, um, your hands have to be really holding the bow tight, and then I just twist it, of course. Real simple so far, nothing too major. I actually broke off a little bit, so I'll do another one. You can do as many of those as you want. Just make sure that you don't have the end, when you twist, you're not having the end part sticking out too much, and that you kind of bend it over, like that, like so. And then, just for, Good measures. We'll go ahead and do a third one. And like I said, you can use whatever you want to use to tie it together. You can use um, yarn or um, just whatever it would be long enough. Now, 
So the next thing, now that you have your bow here, you kind of want to shape it and expand it and make it exactly how you want. So then you can kind of, it's not so scrunched up looking and actually look a little bigger. So now that it's pretty sturdy in the center, you want to actually kind of start expanding. And this is where you're actually shaping your bow exactly to what you want. And you could, if you pick the side that you really want to show, oh, and that's that might happen to you, and that's okay if that does. Um, that's actually a good good little demonstration there because what I'll do is I'll just take another, I'll bring it, bunch it in a little tighter and then I'll just put my um, my little trash bag tie and it's kind of having a hard time there but twisting it more and more and so that should do it, hopefully, as far as the sturdy sturdiness. And so you may have that happen to you when um, you're doing this. Now, the important part after kind of adjusting it a little bit, um, the really, 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 really important part is you want to kind of scrunch it together in the middle. So you're kind of almost pinching it like that. Um, it just seems like it's easier to work with when you do that and it also just gives more of this kind of look that you're going for um, it also helps to prevent it from falling apart if you want now that we have that if you want you can always hot glue gun the two between here it's not going to make a whole big of a difference but you can hot glue gun them like that together and so you kind of see where we're going at with this so there's that I actually kind of wanted to show you what I was talking about, that make sure you have your hot glue gun um, ready. If you don't have one, then it's not a necessary step, but it just might not hold as well. And so um, you can go ahead and pinch them together kind of like that, and then just hold for a good five seconds. And actually, while you're holding, it would be a great time to kind of... I like it when it looks a little even more crinkled, so if you want, you can actually, in the very beginning, I didn't do this, but you can crunch your your paper up, you actually can kind of like wad it up and then do your bow, but for the sake of this, this I just it was easier to work with that way, so I'm kind of doing that now, either way. Okay, so now we have a good tight hold there, which is really, really good for the bowl. So now then the next step that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take my spray paint. This is a little bit of a different color spray paint. Silver, I haven't tried the silver yet, so I'm going to see how that works and you guys will kind of get to see what um, that looks like with the silver and kind of judge which color you like the best. Okay, so now I got finished. This is not even dried yet, but I spray painted it. You can see, actually, I'm surprised at how nice it came out. Um, at first it was kind of harder to cover with that. I found actually the red being the hardest to cover out of all of them. I feel like the silver kind of already added to the grays and the blacks in the paper. And so it was a little easier. Make sure to spray the insides as well. Um, it's not, it doesn't have to be perfect though. Now the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to decide on some kind of centerpiece that you can do. And really honestly, whatever you want to do, um, this came off of something that I had. You know, you have your little junk box and little jingle bells. You can put the little jingle bells on there and that's fine. Or this, I don't even know where I got this from. This is when you just get creative and you can put whatever you want. Um, you could put those two things together and that's kind of nice contrast the gold and the silver and you can even do like I don't know about the flowers so much but some kind of little greenery or something in the middle and so that is that part so I decided to go ahead and use a little bit of a greenery I just pulled that out of a wreath you can pull off of any kind of greenery you have around your home and you can I suppose you can even make it from papers and um, use colors or whatever you want. This is your time to be creative and just use what you have. I think it, it's almost, you're almost more creative when you just use what you have around you. And so um, I am actually trying to glue a couple different colors on here. I just had a little um, berry that I pulled out of a wreath. And then I kind of like that look. Looks nice. So there you see we have the centerpiece. And the nice thing about this here, 
is that it dries really fast. You can see that my hands are all kind of dirty, but really, you know, I can kind of touch it, and it's it's still a little bit wet. Um, you don't really, you would, it's better if you could do this in the day and on a day that it's gonna you know it's gonna be maybe a little warmer out, and that you can kind of leave this outside because it does smell, especially if, if you have pets or little ones or even yourself, you may not like to smell it and so just kind of adjust as needed and so that looks really pretty I think I think adds a different color to the, the bows that we already have and you know these type of things you don't just have to use them for a tree or a wreath or even decorations of the home it can actually add a nice little touch to a gift that you're giving and so it's really really pretty for that as well so the final step now that you have to the, this obviously ornament if that's what you're wanting to do with it is I actually, you can use yarn. This was actually dollar store ribbon, as you can see. It was like a dollar for this, obviously, dollar store. And what I did is to kind of save it, is I cut, as you can see, I cut strips. And um, it's just a really pretty, pretty ribbon to use. And so now I'm just going to take, I'm gonna take the, the slice of ribbon that I cut and I'm gonna kind of tie it underneath and make a loop. So then I have something to actually hang on. Everyone knows how to tie a knot, so nothing fancy there, just simple stuff. Okay, so as you can see now, my three bows are basically done. On each one of them, I added stuff to the centerpiece and you can just use whatever you wanna use. It's nice always to have some kind of greenery and you can even take you know old greenery that you have around the house and cut it in little shape of flowers. You can take anything that's um, you can use your spray paint if you want. And take anything that's round and just make little little berries, and then also just random things. And just it's nice to have different colors. Um, this is a quick, easy, and expensive project that you can do. Um, for the holidays, it's not something that takes a lot of money at all. Basically, the only thing that you need is your spray paint, some newspaper, and just odds and ends stuff, and some glue stick. And so, I want you to go ahead and message me below which one is your favorite one. And if you have any creative ideas, also message below. I hope that you guys found something um, interesting about this and that hopefully this will be something that you will be able to use if not that's okay if you do that's great just have a great christmas and hope this helps